afternoon and welcome back to the Buckeye State Well. Today is some short line and main line action around Grill area. However, we are doing some afternoon well fitting. And today, right now, we are catching the Ann Arbor Railroad Grand Train heading towards Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is Osmere, to interchange with the Great Lakes Central. However, right now we are not focusing on the Great Lakes Central and Ann Arbor Railroad. We're lucky to get the Ann Arbor Railroad coming from the West Front. And um, after we ate, paid our meal, and really good. So, and then we were just going to go to 75 to go south towards Northwood. And then I decided a headlight on the Ann Arbor Railroad and then it was like let's go see what it is and see if it's sitting by it like power it was not it was going pretty slow but he was going going north towards Ann Arbor Michigan and then we got to state line road and then now we're here catching the Ann Arbor Railroad heading north Now we're pulling up to Vickers Junction, which is Northwood, Ohio, and we would end up getting a meet here on the busy NS Chicago line. There is a solo Ace 1174, which is leading, and then the weird DPU is 8153 that will be facing east towards Conway, Pennsylvania. I got the scanner going, and then I heard my scanner going off about 267. That is a Columbus to Chicago, Illinois, and 
the leader on this train ended up having to be a fake bonnet. If I wasn't a catching the Ann Arbor Willwood, I would be catching the fake bonnet. Oh well. I can't say anything about that because I've seen way too many fake bonnets. Even the Chicago line on the CSX system. But now we are looking at a 215 from Cumberland, Maryland to Wayne, Michigan. And our leader is a GE Giro 3009. We'll be leading our 215 tonight. And after the NS, and we had another eastbound, which I did not record it on that play. But after he cleared the diamond, the dispatch flipped the switch to give this 215 a clear to head north towards Wayne, Michigan. Well, folks, we're back on the Chicago line after getting 215. He would, we would ending up getting 30 minutes to not have a train. Now we have a train for another eastbound. This will be the last one till I go to the football game. But I found out the symbol on this one. This one is NS333 from Bovendale. Oakwood Yard to all the way down to Bellevue, Ohio with a BNSF leading. That's pretty cool. At least he's getting, this train is at least getting some foreign power at least. Being really good with the drone here. Luckily the drone of the, the panning of the shot was really, really good. And now we're back to the main camera where I get the audio. And this 33 is very, very long.
well, there's me just flying the drone, whatever I feel like it. Well, the battery on this one is about to die anyway. However, I would end up finding out that I was the only one there. I just figured that I would fly the drone by the diamond. I don't know if that's allowed or by Dickens or not, but whatever. Anyhow, we would have a mid GPU, which ended up being another PNSF, a C44 slash 9, and it's NH2 paint. And here in a few seconds, you would see me find the drone pacing this mid GPU on 333. This unit was very, very, very short. Here he comes, here he comes. Only with three engines and one set of cars and nine containers. Very, very, very short. And now we're in the middle of the night and we're getting this eastbound, getting an exposure of this one. Nothing big, but it's at least, yeah, I got this photo at least, I'll show you guys in a minute. Since now, this will be the final point of this video. 
I will have to sign off here in Harlan, Ohio. But I really did enjoy the last two afternoons of this video. Even though we saw the Erie Heritage Unit that was our first train, this is our last. Two trains of Harlan, Ohio. I thought I would see more than the two. But at least we see trains. That's what matters. But unfortunately, this video signs off here in Holland, Ohio. Hope you will see you guys in the Michigan or State or Deep Buckeye State Wells.